بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered us to follow his sunnah and the sunnah of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. And that that would be the, 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 the way of success for us. That would be the way to deal with the differences of opinions like that we find in this day and age. All the differences, the ikhtilaf we see. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, For many aish minkum ba'di fasayara ikhtilaf in kathira. That whoever lives uh, after me will see many differences. Many differences. Then he said, He gave us a prescription. He said, So then it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifat. And that means the sunnah of Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. And the sunnah of the Sahaba in general what they were united on in those things in minhaj and creed. That's where you'll find their full unity. You'll find that the Sahaba did not differ in creed. They did not d differ in minhaj. So those things are not permissible to go against the madhab of the Salaf Abidin. You know, they're not permissible to differ in Aqidah. We can't say, you know, well, I'm Diobandi and he's Naqshbandi and this one is uh, pure Ashari and this one is, is Salafi. And no. We only have the path of Salafiyyah. We only have the path of Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the understanding of the Sahaba. That's the only creed we have. That's the only legitimate creed we have. All the other things will lead you to the fire. And they'll lead you to ikhtilaf, differences. Wa'iyadhi billah min dhalika. And as evidence that we have to follow the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and follow the Sahaba was the hadith we just mentioned. And then the hadith of or the statement, which is one of the statements of the Salaf, the first of the Salaf, the, uh, the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in, meaning uh, the statement of Abdullah bin Mas'ud, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said that, وَقَالَ ibn Mas'ud, or ibn Mas'ud, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said, مَنْ كَانَ مُسْتَنَّنْ فَلْيُسْتَنَّ بِمَنْ قَدْ مَاتْ أُولَئِكَ أَصْحَابُ مُحَمَّدٍ صلى الله عليه وسلم كانوا خير هذه أمة وأبرها قلوبا وأعمقها علما وأقلها تكلفا قوم اختارهم الله لصحبة نبيه صلى الله عليه وسلم ونقل دينه فتشبهوا بإخلاقهم وترائكهم for whom can Allah Huda al Mustaqim? Such an, a, a powerful and beautiful, beautiful statement of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said, Whoever is following the sunnah of someone, following the way of someone, their path, then take the, then follow the sunnah of those who died, of the, one, the ones who died. Those are the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, meaning the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the sunnah that you should follow. Alayhi salatu wa sallam. Because they were the best of this nation. And they were the most pious in heart, in their hearts. And they had the most, the broadest knowledge, or the deepest and most profound knowledge. And they were the least as, as far as going, uh, being held accountable. And they were a people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose to be the companions of his Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. They preserved the religion. You know, they're the ones who transmitted the religion. So then resemble them in their manners in their paths, their various paths. For verily, they were on guidance, they were on straight guidance. This is the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. 
This is the path of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. This is the path of the Salaf of this Ummah, what we're ordered to follow. It's a beautiful statement by uh, Ibn Mas'ud. It doesn't need any ta'liqat from me. I don't need to say anything else. It was, it was there in the statement of a Sahaba, a Sahabi, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Ibn Mas'ud, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Do you, do you have any doubt about that? About following the minhaj and the methodology of the Salaf? Don't. Don't have doubt. Go back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the athar of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and that should clear your doubt and make your hearts comforted bi-idnillah about the path of righteousness. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be on that path and forgive us for our shortcomings and our sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.